Hello guys, uh, in this video, uh, we are going to take a look at this question. It says that uh, a program P reads in 500 integers, uh, which are in the range of 0 to 100. Uh, I'll just mark this 0 to 100. Okay, and there are 500 integers. Uh, and they, uh, these uh, integers okay, represent the scores of 500 students. It then prints the frequency of each score that is above 50. What would be the best way for P to store the frequencies? So, uh, if you see that uh, we have been given uh, that there is a program P, it is reading 500 integers, okay? Uh, and they are lying in the range of 0 to 100. So, basically, there are 500 students in the class, okay? So, each of the student will be uh, getting some uh, score in the test, okay? That score will lie between 0 to 100. So, we have test results, okay, uh, of the 500 students, basically, we can say. And we have to store... Uh, we have to base this program P basically has to print uh, all the frequencies, okay, frequency of those scores which are above 50. So basically, what P is going to do is it is going to tell you uh, that uh, for 51, score 51, okay, how many students scored 51, and it will tell you how many students scored 52 marks in the exam. So suppose two students scored 51 out of 500 students. Similarly, uh, 52 marks, okay, were stored by say. 15 students, okay, and similarly, okay, till 100, right, so 100 marks, okay, say uh, only 4 students in the class, okay, out of 500 students, uh, only 4 students, okay, scored 100, so it is going to print 4, so understand, okay, the question says that the, we have to only print the frequency of scores that are above 50, right, that means we have to print the frequency of uh, score, this is the score, so we have to print the frequency and this is the frequency, right? Frequency means how many people uh, scored 51 marks, how many people scored 52 marks, okay? So on, okay, till how many people scored 100 marks. So this is what we have to print, right? Uh, so in a small uh, gist, okay, we get a, if we get a small gist of the uh, question, it is uh, this what we have to print, okay? So I'll just uh, explain it, okay, using uh, a diagram, okay? Uh, but basically, the question is asking what is the most optimum way to do this, right? So, whether we should use an array of 50 numbers or we should use an array of 100 numbers or array of 500 numbers or we should use a dynamically uh, allocated array of 550 numbers, right? So, typically, okay, from this scenario, it seems that, okay, we have to score, uh, we have to store um, uh, uh, the scores, okay, of all the students first, okay? So one way uh, to do is we store uh, this uh, we uh, we store the score of all the students all the 500 students okay in an array uh, and then uh, we traverse that array okay and we find out okay how many uh, students have scored 51 we print that out how many uh, elements in that 500 uh, sized array uh, how many uh, entries in that array are say 52 okay uh, so we will print out the value for 52 in that case right how many 52s are there. But that is a very uh, tedious, uh, tedious task and a time consuming thing, right? It will be like traversing 500 entries. So, what we need to do is, okay, first you will be storing, then you will be like traversing. So, uh, a lot of uh, space will be used, right, to store 500 numbers. Optimum way to do it will be, okay, to use, because uh, the question says we have to only store uh, scores above 50, right? That means everything that is below 50, okay, all the students who are scoring below 50, we don't need to consider them, okay, in our calculation. So the program P can ignore those entries, okay, it is reading, okay, it's a 500 integers it is reading, so it can either select that integer, okay, for the frequency or it will ignore it. So in our case, we only have to consider whenever we are getting scores of 51, 52, 53 and so on till 100. Anything below 51, 50, 49, 20, 23, anything, okay, that is below 50, that we can ignore. So typically, okay, from this scenario, it seems that only 50, a size of 50 is sufficient, right? So, uh, let's take um, basically uh, an array, okay. So, this array, uh, if you see this, I have taken, um, uh, okay, uh, a student list, okay. It is uh, student number 1 has scored 53 marks in the test, student 2 has scored 100 marks in the test, okay. Student 3 has scored 52 marks in the test. Similarly, student 4 has scored 20 marks in the test and so on. And student 499 uh, has scored, uh, score, he has scored 52 marks. Uh, student, last student, that is 500 student, he has scored 100 marks in the test. And we have to print, okay, the scores that are above, frequency of the scores that are above 50, right? So, let's, uh, suppose this is the array that we are using, okay, it is of size 50. So, indexing is going to be from 0 to 49, okay? Uh, 
one minute something is filled in the array and just erase it and we can start okay okay so basically uh, if we see student number one so basically these are the indices and basically what are these uh, scores representing this is score 51 okay this is uh, array index uh, one okay will be storing uh, it will be storing uh, how many students have scored 52 marks similarly array index 2 will be scoring storing how many students have scored 53 marks okay and so on so array index the last array index that is 49 okay it will tell you how many students have scored 100 marks okay so how are we arriving at it so it is simple right whatever score suppose this is the score right score or you can say marks okay and that are obtained in the text text so if somebody is uh, scores 51 marks in the test okay so we will uh, increment uh, the value at index 0 by 1 somebody scores a 52 in the test we will increment the value at index 1 of the array by 1 so we will increment here by 1 okay so on for others so if suppose we start okay uh, let's iterate over this array so 53 okay student 1 has scored 53 so 53 subtract 50 from it and then subtract 1 from it what do you get 53 minus 50 minus 1 so we get 2 so array index 2 okay so array index 2 where is array index 2 this is 2 right and this is representing also score 53 so we are going to add a 1 here now we go to the next score it is 100 okay student 2 has scored 100 so 100 is represented by which element or uh, which index of the array so similarly you can do 100 minus 50 minus 1 okay so you are going to get 49 right so 49th index we will add a 1 now we go to student number 3 he has scored 52 marks so 52 marks that means it will be this it will be represented by 1 so we will add a 1 here student number 4 has scored 20 marks now here we are only storing the frequencies which are uh, when the score is above 50 so this entry this 20 is irrelevant to us so we can leave it okay and we can go to the next number because it is it has to be above 50 okay somewhere between 51 and 100 including both them both of them so now 499 student has scored a 52 so 52 means index number 1 okay you know how we have calculated the index minus 50 minus 1 so 52 uh, so we will add a 1 here so this will become 1 plus 1 2 now 500 student has scored a hundred okay so hundred is represented by 49th index of the array so we will change we will add one here so this will become one plus one two so final whatever values you are going to get okay in the array that uh, will tell you the frequencies okay all the frequencies that are above 50 for 51 52 and so on till 100 so basically an array of size 50 is sufficient okay uh, to represent this data so the program can uh, have an array of size 15 that's all that's the answer for this thanks